Hi everyone, we are watching Varem24.com and today we will be taking apart Xiaomi 13T Pro. First, we need to remove the SIM card tray. For that, we will use the special tool. Insert it into the small hole, gently push out the tray and set it aside. Next, we need to heat up the back core to about 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We are using a heating pad, but you can also use a hair dryer if that is what you have. And after heating it for about from 7 to 10 minutes, we can start separating the back core. To do this, we will use a thin plastic film. Something like a plastic sheet from a stationery store or even the protective film that comes with a new display will work too. Carefully insert the film into the gap between the back cover and the middle frame and gently slide it along the edge to cut through the adhesive layer. As always, be extra careful around the side buttons, since there might be flex cables nearby. And of course, take care around the camera area, so you don't accidentally scratch or damage the lenses. If the cover starts to stick back down, you can use an additional plastic tool to keep that section lifted while you continue working your way around. As we can see, the back cover is also glued around the camera housing, so we will need to carefully separate that part as well and slowly lift it up. Once the back core is open, we remove any leftover adhesive and make sure nothing is still holding it in place. If it is still attaching some spots, it is most likely more adhesive, gently loosen it and leave the core off completely. Now we can see exactly where the back core was taped, especially around the cameras. Next, we will cover the camera lenses to protect them. For this, we will use a special protective film, but make sure to stick it around the lenses, not directly on the glass. Now, let's move on to removing the screws at the top. As we can see, one of the screws is covered with a warranty sticker, which means no one has opened it before us. The screws appear to be all the same. To remove them, we will use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 It is a good idea to place the screws on a magnetic mat or organized surface in the same order you remove them. Sometimes screws don't fit perfectly in the wrong holes. After that, we will remove the top cover. We use a non-metallic tool here so we don't short anything on the motherboard. We gently leave the cover with uh, its contact pads and use a non-metallic tool to disconnect the two battery connectors carefully. Now let's move on to the bottom part of the phone. We will remove the screws here as well, using the same 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. It is best to keep these screws separate from the ones at the top, just to be safe. Once the screws are out, we can detach the bottom core. To find a good spot to lift it slightly, then turn it over. The bottom core includes the speaker and a small board with a coaxial cable attached. So, we will need to disconnect the coaxial cable from the main board before removing the cover completely. Now we can take off the speaker assembly along with a small antenna board. Next, let's start disconnecting the cables. We disconnect the interboard flex cable connector, then fingerprint sensor connector, the second interboard flex cable connector, and coaxial cable connector. We carefully free in the cable from its clips along the small board. Then we disconnect the display flex cable. 
In the lower section we can see two small boards. One of them has the SIM card connector and another one with a charging port. We gently lift SIM card board by the edge and remove it. Next we can remove the board with a charging port. It is slightly recessed into the display frame, so lift it carefully. This board contains the charging port, of course. Now we can take a closer look at the second small board which holds the microphone and the SIM connector on the opposite side. And here comes our usual microphone opening test. The microphone hole is located in the display frame and has an L-shaped channel. It is covered on the inside by a mesh or membrane. The microphone itself sits on the subboard behind it. So if you insert something into the microphone hole, you are unlikely to damage either the microphone or the mesh. The fingerprint sensor and vibration motor remain in the display frame. Now let's move on to the motherboard. We can start by disconnecting the cameras. They are glued to the motherboard, so we will carefully unstick them first before removing them. And of course we take note of the sequence and layout before we start lifting. We gently lift the cameras by their flex cables and pray them from the base to unstick them. Please note that the main rear camera is secured by a special bracket. Ok, front camera is attached to the motherboard shield with a heat dissipating copper foil. It is best to keep this copper foil intact, as it helps with the heat dissipation during future use. We disconnect the front camera and cover its lens with a protective film to keep out dust or debris, then set it aside. Now let's remove the bracket holding the main rear camera. We find a good spot to lift it carefully, detach it and set it aside. Then we can disconnect the camera connector and take it out. There is still one more rear camera attached to the board. Gently unstick and remove it as well. Next we will disconnect the coaxial cable connector, the interboard flex cable connector and the charging board flex cable connector. And now we can remove the motherboard. We find the right spot to gently lift it. Make sure no connectors or cables are in the way. Don't rush or use force, and the board might still be held by thermal paste on the back. As for the top microphone hole, it is the same design, L-shaped, covered by a mesh or membrane with a microphone body sitting on the motherboard behind it, so again inserting anything into the microphone hole won't damage the microphone or the mesh. Finally, let's remove the battery. As usual, for Xiaomi there are two brown pull tabs. 
Carefully lift and fold them outward. And make sure they don't tear. And make sure to read the text on the pull tabs, because on some phones the tabs on each side work differently. They don't always pull up the same way. In this case we need to pull the side tabs upward to release the battery. We pull gently and the battery will come loose. Underneath it there is a transparent protective layer covering the interboard flex cables. And that is it, the disassembly is complete, thank you for watching and see you in our next videos, or on our telegram channel or on our website. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.